I created a personal assistant for myself that writes right now a script for me, my marketing plans, my content plans, and so on. And in this video, I will teach you how you can create your own personal AI assistant that's gonna do assignments for you. So watch this video till the end, even if you don't know about AI or you haven't used it or you haven't thought about this. Because after this video, I will assure you 100% you will want to create and you will create an AI agent. Who doesn't dream about personal assistant? The app is called MindDOS and this is really mind-blowing. A little bit about this app. MindDOS is a universal engine, a platform that creates AI agent for a specific topic. So you can create your own agent that communicates like a human with only those qualities and only database that you trained him on with individual memory, experience, and personal traits. And that's all you can create fairly quickly. And the big difference between ChatGPT, who does not remember about what have you talked about after a few days, this is the agent that you have trained. Firstly, you train him on exactly your database. What exactly do you want him to know? Secondly, it has an internet connections. So whatever he doesn't have a database that you put in, he can actually go for the internet and look for you on exactly websites that you allow him to go. And third, he will remember you. And Self learn. This is a very cool app. Let's create. I will show you how to create, walk you through step by step. So first you can watch this video to watch all of the possibilities of the limitations. And after that, when you're going to create your character, you can come back to this video so you know where to find an exact moment that you need. Beyond that, if you don't want to create your own characters, which I highly suggest to do, you can also use pre-trained agents by the platform or by the people. There is a three agents that created by developers itself. There is a travel consultant, analyst, and the girl. <laughs> the girl. You can even see how many times these characters have been used. For example, an analyst have been used more than 95,000 of people. And underneath, there are also agents that people have created for themselves. They train them and you can also use them. For example, if you're having some trouble with a mid journey and you don't know how to create a prompt, you can use this mid journey helper and ask him for the better prompts. The only cons of it is you don't know on which data they were trained by, so it's always better to create your own. What's important? Important that here the app is giving you free 20 credits and they will be spent out while you're creating. For example, you put a little database, they're rolled out. You change something, they're rolled out. So it's really important to create a fully one agent rather than creating a few agents in the same time. In this case, probably your credits will roll out and you haven't finished with one characters normally. And after you create it normally, you test it out and if you like it, you wanna create a new one, you can always buy credits. It costs 10 to 15 bucks, which if it's really help you, I think, kind of reasonable salary for your personal assistant. Next, let's move on the creation itself. What's important here? First, name. You can always change it, so don't worry about it. Don't need to spend so much time on creating this. Next, appearance, where you can edit your characters. And the brain. That is, is very important, because here in the brain, you will need to put the parameters such as persona, knowledge, skills, memory, and autonomy. And I would say it's also important while you're creating, constantly check this person out. For example, you put some knowledge database, you talk to him to check it out if it understands you well or if it reads your database. By the way, quick footnote, here you can see that we're gonna create a characters from the scratch, but you will also have a template store that will come in soon as a digital twin and live recorder. What does it mean? Digital twin is kind of a digital version of yourself. It's gonna be AI powered assistant that's gonna capable of doing a lot of tasks, not only one that right now we're training on. And a life recorder. Life recorder is a really like your personal assistant because it will help you with a note taking according to your needs. 
such expense tracking, nutrition management, reading notes, and so more. Okay, let's move on to creation. Here you're gonna create your own unique character with its goals, with its motivations, with its unique personality. So it's really important to say that it's not only one time thing that you're gonna create one and you don't need to change it. No, of course, you're gonna change it, you're gonna improve it day by day. And visualization of the avatar, of course, you can choose the selection from here, but also you will have an option to go on the Ready Player Me, create a 3D image of your character, download it and upload it here. Voice. Here is a very wide range of voices. You can even customize it like it's timbre, pitch, speed rate, whenever you like girl or boy. Next section, biography. It's very important to tell him your background, determining his motivations, his values, because it will have a very strong influence on the person. And it's really important to describe it in your nature language. His ambitions, his likes, his dislikes. These are all elements that are gonna lay on the foundation. And in the future, you will understand why is it important. And in an example, I'll show you what developers gave us so you can understand how much details it should be when you're creating your character. For example, Max, Harvard business grad. It's a bacon of the sharp inside with a contagious sense of humor. He talks much, even to strangers. He is an avid tennis player, channeling the same dedication on the court as he does in a breaking down complex financial topics. So you see, like you put in actually the foundation of the personality. And with this approach, this agent will help you in your any other topics. Because if he knows that he is not only dedicated to the task that you're giving her, but is actually a very dedicated person. And if you ask him something not about marketing, let's say, he will remember that and he will approach another topic with the same accuracy. The next thing is will be how he greet us whenever we talk to him. Let's say every time when I use this agent, it talks, hey, we're 390, what are we going to do today? And also you can put some defined templates, patterns that down below. So you can save some time in the future. Let's say you put a YouTube, you put a tele Telegram post or you put a news research, you can use them and it, the greetings gonna be different and also the database where he looked at it also gonna be different. Next, general instructions. General instructions is kind of like a guideline that will help your characters to determine how to respond in certain situations. The developers give the example for Max, such, uh, you should never mention that you're a virtual assistant created by MindDust team. Or like, you must never talk about political or violent topics and so on. What's important to you? Next, we have knowledge. And this is where we actually give him his database. This is where he takes the data to answer to your question and help you. So it's really important to prepare all of this data before you starting to create your character. For example, if you want him become a marketeer, you can download your favorite books of the marketing, articles, some people who talked about this and you like it. Even find some websites, later you will know why. Prepare everything that he need to know. But it also shouldn't be more than 30 documents, just a suggestion from developers, because if it's too much information, then the characters probably won't answer that accurate and probably it will be lost. And the file shouldn't be not more than five megabytes bytes and it should be in a word and PDF or text format. If you have other formats or if you have documents bigger than that, you can always use the free website TinyWo I talked in the previous video where you can convert your files. Also, I will leave uh, the document that developers gave in the link down below so you can always check and see the guideline how to better prepare the database for your character. And besides the knowledge base, if you don't have one or if you're lazy, you also will have a knowledge button where you can always always write a prompt like in ChatGPT, let's say you're a professional marketeer with a 20 years of experience and blah blah so on. But I highly recommend to spend some of your time, otherwise there is no purpose of creating your personal agent, you can always use a ChatGPT. Next, search engine really cool and important one. Here you can put and you can on the search engine when you need it for. 
and say when he actually should use the search engine. For example, I don't need he use a search engine all the time. I need he turn on the search engine when I ask him to find me a latest news and so on. And the cool stuff of it, you actually can put particular websites where you need him to go and look for the news. It can be very useful because with a chat GPT, for example, you don't know which websites it visiting and if it's correct or not. Here you uploading your favorite websites that you trust. Okay, next is the Skills APIs, a very important and cool tool. Here you can let your hero connect to certain services. For example, I want he take a Google News for us, so I connect to the Google APIs. Or I need he looks for the videos for me in the YouTube, so I connect him to the YouTube APIs. Or I need he generate images for me, and I can connect either to the DALI or to the Google APIs. Because if you don't connect and if you ask for the pictures, he won't do that because he doesn't have this option inside of the this app. And it's also important to tell him when he should use all of these services. For example, you have to prescribe you should use the Google Image Search API only when the user specifically requests for the pictures or images. Or go and search in the Google only when the person asks for the latest news and so on. Next, shortcuts. Shortcuts are just basically a quick access to the best techniques of your genius. If you set them correctly, this is just save you time. Next, structured memory. A very important point. If ChatGPT sometimes can respond, oh, I don't understand or I don't remember after a few days, here is an unbelievable tool if you set this correctly. You will have a table and on each table you can put certain things. For example, here is a personal journal, here is a reading list, here is a daily inspiration. If you do this correctly, he will remember everything about you. Let's say he will remember that you are not really good in a technical aspects or you don't have a technical background. So every time when you ask for some technical information, he will find a way how to explain you in more simple words. How do I add structure memory? It's very easy. I add table and after table you will choose what exactly you want to add, a personal journal, reading list or daily inspiration. And then in these templates you can use a name of these templates, a description of these templates and definition of everything in this table. And label and give a name to each section. So your character Character will identify them and find this knowledge from exactly column that he needs. After you save in your templates, every time when you talk to him, he will analyze these templates, he will capture and organize all of this data inside of these templates. Okay, other than that, guys, right now this option are not available yet, but it will be and it's called self learning. This is really cool. Self-learning is when your characters enable to self-learn from all of your conversations that you are having and grow during all the interactions that you are having. It means that you have talked about something and probably from the first side he doesn't understand you. He will relearn all of the conversation that you had and the next time he will remember that when you talk about, for example, let's say Apple, he will know that you're talking not about eating Apple but about the company Apple and so on, so on. Next, here in the description we can set a frequently asked question. This is just for don't waste in your time in the future. Okay, that's taken care of. Right now, let's see what we got and we can test it out. For example, today I wake up and I need to write about some news in my Telegram channel about AI news. I'm coming to my agent and I'm asked pick up the latest news for me so I can post and talk to my followers. I ask him and I can see how he actually go into this particular website and looks for all these later news for me. This just saves time. I can see all the websites, the news itself. Okay, next pictures. This is where the agent is actually good at. And let's say I want he looks for the pictures that connected related to the AI and the human itself. And I can see that he is picked up the pictures from the internet for me with a very good quality and exactly what I need. It just saves a lot of time. I can just download it and use it for my post. And I connect it to the DALI and if I want to generate some pictures, it can also generate. The little thing that he's not always good at the generating pictures from the scratch because he used DALI version 
too. But I guess in the future, it will be better and better. That's what's easy. Right now, I want to make a task harder to show you what he also capable of. Because in the end, we are creating all these agents to help us to save our time that we usually spend a long time for. Let's say I want him help me with a content plan for the next week. And I'll ask him, I want to start a new blog on Instagram about AI topic. I want you to help me to come up with the ideas for the next week, what kind of post on which topic I should write and tell to my audience. And here I can see that he created a whole table divided day by day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what kind of post I should create, the website where I can take this information and when this information was published published, which is really helpful because I can know if this information are old enough, if it's new enough and so on. So I just can take this topic on, I can read this article, I can summarize it for me and just tell to my audience, which is really time saver. Next, I choose all of the topics that he gave me. For example, I like this one, I like this one and I like this one. Then I will take this article that I like that he suggested me and I will ask this agent to write a post for me according to these articles. And the agent actually wrote me a post from these articles. Also, with the links where I can take this information, I can include this information because this is definitely not mine and I don't want to take this as a mine, but I can put it in my post so people can read the summarization from me and also can see where this information I taken. This is just unbelievable because before it took me so much time to go and look for it. And why I like it as well, it's because when I ask him to write on a specific topic, he's not actually taking information from one particular website, but he actually taken the information from different websites and gather it in one post. So when I'm telling about this, I can also tell the people different opinions through the different article, through the different sources. This is just really interesting. And then I say, oh, can we adapt this post into the Instagram post? And it's adapting this long version to the short version. But important note, here, as you can see, he didn't adapt it so well to the Instagram Instagram post. I did it on purpose so I can show you why. You remember that we are teaching our agent from the scratch and what information we put in what he remembers. So if I didn't put the information about how the Instagram post looks like, he will not know it. So if you are creating your agent for a specific social media, you also have to teach him what this social media post usually looks like. What is the format for them? And after he learn and you ask for the Instagram next time, he will prepare the right format for you. And remembering, this is not just a chat GPT that we teach him once and that's all. And next time we have to teach him again and again. Here, if you teach him only once, he will always remember what exactly we need from it. So my conclusion, this is just unbelievable, really helpful tool for you to use. It can save a long time and it's really interesting when it comes to creating your own AI version for yourself for some specific task. It cannot replace the human, not. I test it out. It still need a human to check it out, but it can save a long time for yourself and it cannot replace the chat GPT and just another tool for specific needs. So for example, right now, if I still need to ask very quick question or take an advice. I have a chat GPT on my phone. I can always ask him. But if I need something that we always remember and I can train on a specific topic so I don't waste the time of explaining over and over, this is where MindDoss can help and can be very useful for. That was all. Like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate your support and always write in the comments what you haven't understand, what you don't understand. If you have more questions, there is going to be much more stuff coming on. Bye-bye.